has been affected by cancer, whether it's from someone they know or by a story that they've seen on the news. But what is cancer? Cancer begins as a change in someone's DNA, and this can be a result of environmental factors, hereditary factors, or a combination of both. And this change in DNA leads to a cancer cell having a whole bunch of characteristics which make it different from a normal cell. Principally, it lacks an off switch and it multiplies uncontrollably, creating a tumour. Um, now, specific DNA changes and cell characteristics have been identified for different cancer types. And this means that therapy can be very personalised and hence very effective. However, problems arise when there are differences within the same tumour or between multiple tumours in the same patient. And this is very problematic for therapy because by killing off one part of the tumour, you could be creating a very favourable environment for the other part to grow. So, what if we could find out what these problematic differences are? Well, we can. And that's where my research comes in. And I use a highly sensitive machine, shown in the slide behind me, called a mass spectrometer. Now, I'm quite aware it looks like a vending machine, but I can assure you it's highly specialised. And this machine works by using a laser and creating an image from a very thin section of tumour. So if my finger is the laser and my hand is the thin tissue section, the laser will go across the tissue like this. Again, never actually laser your hand. And we'll take out information from this thin section into the machine behind me and create an image of it. Now the resulting image is made up of pixels, like any other photograph that you'd find on a digital camera. Um, each pixel is made up of where the laser is fired. So if I'm the laser and I fire here, one pixel. Move along, fire here, second pixel. And all the information coming up from this tumour section um, is organised based on its mass. So these compounds could be a drug, a fat, a protein, and so ultimately you're left with a huge amount of data from just one experiment. And the resulting image is shown as a heat map. And I use an example of a rat brain in the slide behind me. And you can generate an image of any of these compounds that have been stored in the vending machine. Um, and I've just chosen fat A as an example. So the red parts of the image are where fat A is most abundant. Um, so the hot parts of the image, if you like. And the blue cooler parts are where fat A is least abundant. Now, I'm interested in imaging fats in cancer. Are the fats acting the same in the same tumour? Are they different? And are they different between multiple tumours in the same patient? Which, as I said, is problematic for therapy. Um, I then look at how different drugs are acting. So are the fats responding the same way? Are they responding differently? And with this information, you can get a very good idea specifically of each drug is acting and create better cancer treatments for the future, saving lives one pixel at a time. <laughs>